Welcome to the Command Center Podcast. I'm Logan Paulson, here with two very distinguished gentlemen. Santana Moss, yeah, and yeah. I said distinguished too, but Fred Smoot, you're not Fred distinguished. Blue Moon Smoot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're going to talk about that in a little bit. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. What did you guys boys, what'd you boys do this weekend? Watch a little college football? Well, oh, college football? Come on, it was Labor Day weekend. Yeah. So, of course, food. Alcohol, because I know you don't drink, so I drunk enough for you. Right, and, and college football, man. I, I literally watch college football, and we're watching history be made in Colorado. Right oh, now. yeah, no dude. Doubt. I got a chance to go down to Miami. Um, Did you go to the games. game? Um, no, I didn't go to the game. Oh. I, I wasn't going to that game. Anyway, that that wasn't a, a game that you want to go to. Miami, Ohio, come on. Oh, uh, but weren't, no, they ta- weren't they talking about how they're the real Ohio? Bro, real, I don't know Miami? what's going on with those guys. <laughs> they delusional or something. That, I guess it's good for college football that you know Miami, Ohio got a little. They trying to act like us. For the past, <laughs> Isn't you know? Beach in Ohio at all? Like, I know. What what happened? I know what's going yeah. on. Yeah. But um, I got a chance to get you know get get back down to uh, South Florida, see my kids, um, and just spend some time in college football. You know, that's one I, one of the things I do, whether it's Saturday or Sunday. We know what we do Sunday. We, yeah. we all, you know, most working. Work. Yeah. Yeah. But Saturdays, I normally spend my time. I go get my workout in early. I go get my lunch, and then I'm watching. I'm on the couch. And watching. I'm, I'm watching yeah. college football. Today. So what was the game you watched? I've been saying, what did you do? You Dude, ain't going to get away without I was thinking about, telling. like, what did I do this weekend? Did I you did, go to a cookout? No, I went to a – our family friend had their wedding – 10-year wedding renewal. So oh, we did that right. at a okay. farm. So we saw like some fireworks. So we had food there. They had wedding yeah. food, but it was basically like a like a wedding, soft yeah. wedding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then um, hung out with some friends on Sunday and just, I saw him, my son I, almost died on a zip line. So I'm like, oh, nice. so he was going down on a zip line yeah. and he's holding the handles, you know, and yeah. he hit the end of it and did like and a full go. like, like, Around yes, yeah. and he landed directly on his back. Thank God, but like yeah. it was one of those ones where it was like if he would have cut like under rotated, he would have hit his head, and yeah. over rotated, he would have hit his uh, face. Yeah, and then he got up like you know like you're he's nine, yeah. just pops up. Yeah, and like totally like no sc- no cuts oh, no, no nothing. No, <laughs> he did get cut. It just healed like Wolverine, <laughs> <laughs> quick. And I wonder what a what a cookout at the Paul at, at Logan's house would look like. Do you got like let me guess this. Your potato salad. Does you it always have, bring up. Do you think I eat potato salad? Does it got raisins in it? I, I don't even he know. Like, yeah, he raisins. always talking about raisins. <laughs> is that a thing? It Tana, is, is a thing, it, man. It, no, it's not a thing for us. No, not for, <laughs> no, for, <laughs> for us. What do you mean? Wait, what do you mean? No raisins yeah, in our potato no salad. No raisins. I leave houses with raisins in the potato salad. I, I come, I get a bottle of water, and I walk right out. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right, so you guys were talking about college football. Yeah. Let's yeah. talk a little bit, a couple seconds about Colorado. Yeah. I mean, that was. I mean, one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I one mean, of the craziest was, things I've ever seen. It wasn't crazy. What was it, it crazy? No. Um, let me say this. Okay. It was one of those moments where, what's on today? Who's the team to watch? And, oh, Colorado's playing. I'm watching Colorado. Yeah. After that game was over, it was nothing else to really. Nothing to get you. <laughs> nothing else gave <laughs> me the same you. adrenaline. Yeah. Adrenaline yeah. is watching that game. Yeah. I, but, not, now you want to talk about crazy. It was crazy when just to see. Where they come from, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who yeah. they were last year? Yeah. What's going on with one Prime game being they there? Won last yeah. Year. One game they won last year. Yeah. This team was the runner up in the national championship they facing. Yes. They they was under twenty one underdogs. I mean, they had about twenty one point underdogs. I mean, that to me was amazing just to see them come out, the fight, the physicality, all that stuff. Man, they just played. Hats off to Prime. Yeah. Hats off to all those kids that they said they couldn't come from HBCUs yeah. playing at the Power 5 level. Yeah. Bro, it was an amazing thing to uh, watch. It, it was scary for the rest of college football. Yeah. The future has started. Dion is something we have never no, Coach seen Prime. before. No, Coach Prime. Don't say Dion. You, 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 you're right. You gotta gotta get him I forgot. Prime. He was my teammate, so I Coach called him Dion. Like, Do you still talk Coach to him, Prime. by the way? Yeah. So, Coach like, do, do you, like, call him up after this game be like, hey, man, what's going on? No, nah, I know he's getting, like, a billion phone calls. <laughs> I'm not trying to be in the cluster of them. But he good at answering the phone. Yeah, yeah. And he love to talk. So, yeah. it's fine. Coach Prime, does it walk, talk, dress, look like any other head coach mm-hmm. ever? Yeah. I, he has something that they will never be to have. He's been a world-class. He's he's reached greatness. Yeah. And some call him the greatest On defensive level, player. Every level. Uh, I'm saying greatest. Uh, he played baseball. And usually great people that's great at stuff, people don't want to give you a chance to be great at other things. Mm-hmm. Right? And they scatter that. And the thing about it is he has the Midas touch, yeah. meaning whatever he touch becomes gold. Yeah. And I think he is waking up college football and making them understand it's time for y'all to go higher Ex pro football players and yeah. ex college football players is your head coach. Well, I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not even that. I don't think. I think you mentioned he's like a he's a unicorn a little yeah. bit. He's got that charisma, that mm-hmm. leadership. Like yeah. he's been a mentor. Like you know, I remember watching that stuff with Pac Man Jones. How he's yeah. kind of brings these guys. Uh, he he does have a strong personality, but also 
56 new athletes on that football team. Mm -hmm. that's, new not college e football. that's not even the same team. So I think that to me is really interesting and really yeah. compelling because it's like a totally different landscape. Like you're terrible. Hey, man, let's get all these athletes at smaller schools come here and, and, and make us better. That helped me understand that when you hear coaches say, well, we are a new team. We're yeah. trying to bull crap. We yeah. don't want to hear that. Because <laughs> this guy just shows you he could come from HBCU, yeah. bring a new coaching staff, and basically lost his whole team. Yeah. The one guy who made the first interceptions was, was one, no, one, the the one, one of the only guys. No, the one player this day. One of the oh, only guys the one that guy was still state. on that team and started. Yeah, yeah. You know crazy. what I mean? So yeah. it's great to see that this guy who they said didn't have a chance to come to this level and do what he did in the HBCU. Oh, you're not going to you're not going to touch these kids the way you touch Jackson State. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jackson State needed you. Yeah. We, we over don't here, you. we don't need you. Yeah. And he told you, I'm bringing my Louis luggage. Uh, yeah. And and obviously, his star players had Louis luggage too, because his son went out there and, <laughs> and, and threw the ball. 500 out. yards. 500 passing. yards. Wow. Uh, he was no a four, interceptions. He was a four star when he came out. No Lincoln interceptions. Right. Yeah. Travis Hunter was the number two player in the nation. Yeah, no, number, so one good, player number one player good, in the nation good, good when he players. came up. So they, they had talent, but you remember, we talked, and this and we was really talking about the commander when we talked about unpredictability. Yeah, yeah. They had no film to show. TCU. You had no film to study. They no had to film. go back and study. Jackson State to study Shadour. The office coordinator came from Memphis, I think. Yeah. So they had nothing to study. And I think that's what's going to help the commander's team start out quick. You do not have any film to study. We are unpredictable. And you don't know who we are, what we are. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's enough. To, I mean, we could talk about Colorado yeah, for the next day. hour. But we got to talk about the commanders because this is a commander's podcast. It is a commander's podcast. So we're going to play a game. It's called Word Association. I'm going to say somebody's name okay. on the team. Okay. And we're going to think about the first thing that comes to mind, and we're going to kind of explain why that is, okay? okay. So the first guy we're going to start off with, pretty obvious, is our guy, the young airwolf, Sam Howell. Sam, Tana. I am. What we got, Tana? Um, Just talking about what he's going to bring this so year. What he's going to bring, like your expectation, like just the first thing that comes to mind. Like, what, like yeah, let's, let's do that. What's the expectation for him this year? Be a true conductor. Conductor. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to, you know, Sam don't have to go out there and wow you with, you know. 400 yards, none yeah. of that, none of that. He don't have to do that. You have to just... You know, basically lead these men you have, and he has a good crew around him. I mean, you know, you rarely seldom see a guy that's coming in and he's young and he has the talent around him that all he has to do is go out there and distribute the ball around. Sure, you know point I mean? guard. Yep. So I, I just feel like being a great conductor, being a point guard, yeah, and being the leader. He's a quarterback, so you know the quarterback has a different role than everybody else sure. on the team. R whether you want to be a captain or not, you are the captain. You're the captain of this ship, the offense. Yeah, and just be a great captain, be a great conductor, and lead the guys. Distribute the ball to the right guy at the right time, and he should have no problem. So conductor. All right, what you got? Uh, mine is two words. Can I add two words? Yeah, I mean, like this is this is our when show. When it's coming to Sam Howard, I only want one thing: emotional stability. I, I don't want him to play the emotional game. I don't, mm -hmm. and that's what I like about him so far. He doesn't. When he has a good game, he doesn't get too high on himself. When he have a bad throw or something, he doesn't get too low on himself. I want him legitly to stay right in the middle, no yeah. matter what's going on, because the team will go as his ups and downs go. Yeah, like sure. not, they can be physical ups and downs, but they cannot be emotionally ups and downs. Because I feel like then you lose two, three, four games, and now you're trapped in a rut. I need his emotions to be stable, and I need him. And he's like I said before, he's shown me that mm -hmm. he's kind of yeah. emotionless, yeah. and he's I very do even. enjoy that part poised, of yeah. him. And I think that poise and that will get him to say, you know, show people I can be not just a starter; I can be the franchise quarterback for this mm -hmm. team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And that's a really good insight too. Mm -hmm. You know, like that kind of the emotional consistency yeah. from the quarterback spot is so important. I would say probably growth. Yeah. I want to see him get right, better. Right. You know, it's kind of kind of kind of fits in with what you're talking about but yeah. like just each week can i get better yeah can i see the blitz a little bit better can i understand the game plan a little bit better yeah. and then week five am i better than i was week one week 12 am i better than i was week five and by the end of the year am i a totally different football player and i think he's shown that he can do that you yeah. know what i mean so I, that's that's what i'm thinking so uh, conductor emotional stability i like yeah. that a lot yeah i'm gonna say growth i think that's those are all really good things for him and they're all again they're really relevant to the position you know yeah, so yeah, most uh yeah. this is an interesting one and, yeah. I, and I'm, I'm really curious to hear what you guys say because i have my thoughts on this yeah. is brian robinson mm. so Ooh. we'll start with smooth all right want. my one word is receiver I want to okay. see him All right. receive the ball because he got the talent to do it. In mm -hmm. college, they didn't throw the ball to him much. So when we when we got him here, we didn't know what type of receiver he was. Yeah. But I think we have seen during these practices, he can go out there and he can catch the ball. Think about it. If I'm a defense, Brian Robinson comes into the game, I just told my linebacker, just told look, get ready for the run. Yeah. Like, well, if you can come out here and throw the ball when he's in the game, now that's a whole new element to it. And think about this. 
We've seen him run into tight spaces, A gap, B gap, yeah. C gap. Imagine how he can punish DBs catching it in the open field, turning around, seeing these guys eye to eye after catching the ball. I think receiver it was come to mind when you say Brian Robinson. When you saw, you saw him do that in the Atlanta game, right? Yeah. Like when he runs that DB over, like head of steam, good in space, catching football. Yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah What's we, it we, be? We, us at DBs, we can't take that pound too long. <laughs> we, can't, we can't do it. What you got, Tanner? Anything? Cut him loose. <clears throat> Cut him loose. Cut him loose. All right. You know, you got to think about it. You know, Brian Robinson, what, rushed for almost 800 yards last yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. We knew what he went through prior to rushing, you know, for, for, for that number. And just to think, I feel like at times – he didn't get a chance to be himself last year. We knew yeah. he wasn't himself. And then we, every game we was just seeing a different guy. Like you say, okay, okay, you see him yeah, a little yeah, more. Yeah, look, yeah, looking yeah. more like the Brian Robinson we saw in the preseason of yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah. Clean bill of health right now. Yeah, Went yeah. through the whole entire preseason. We heard we heard one peep. We haven't heard a peep mm-hmm. of him this whole entire preseason. Yeah. Last year preseason, we was, we was getting ready like, ooh, you saw that boy there. Yeah. yeah. So we haven't saw – much of him this preseason. Yeah. We've been talking about Sam yeah. and those guys on the outside. Yeah. Cut him loose. Show the world what you've been you've been holding back. You've been yeah. saying, you know what, we don't we, we saw enough of you last year. We don't mm. want them to see this again yeah. right now. Mm. Not too soon. So now game one, they don't know what to expect from Brian Roberts. They don't know if he's gonna be catching the ball at the backfield. They don't mm. know if he's gonna be the bell cow. He's gonna yeah. be all that in the above. So I yeah. say cut him loose. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say for me it's it kind of goes in line with what you're saying. I, I think he's kinda underrated right now. Yeah. Like yeah. I think I think people like ask me, oh, Jahan and Terry and Gibson, I get a ton of questions about mm-hmm. Gibson or even Chris Rodriguez. I'm like, yeah. Don't forget about B Rob. Yeah, the yeah. guy. You know, he's like he's because he ain't flashy. He yeah. is just hard nose. Yeah, hard nose. He you know, and maybe it's because we watch practice, but he like get see, live. like seeing him catch the football and yeah. watching how he runs yeah. the football, I'm like, gosh, like he could be a huge, huge feature of this offense. And I think to Tana's point, like if he can yeah. stay healthy and be consistent, yeah. like he might be the best player on this offense. Like, and I'm not being hyperbolic when I yeah, say that. I'm yeah. not exaggerating. Like, no. I know Jahan's been very productive. Terry's yeah. very productive. But I think he could be the guy that ends up mm-hmm. with the most touchdowns or the yeah. most yards from scrimmage. And I'm just really excited to see that. And mm-hmm. I, so I think he's a little underrated right now in terms of how the fans are viewing I him. I feel you on that one. All right, this is an interesting one too. Man, good list here, Jason. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Quan Martin is the guy. Oh, so, okay. yeah, what is the, what's the first word that comes to mind with Quan? You want to go first? Uh, yeah, Tanner? I'm going to go first this okay. time since Fred went first yeah, last because Fred's always oh, going this, first. This is a tough one, too. I, I, I would have wanted to hear what Fred had to say about him because he got the defense. You want me to spill it? Because well, we, I can spill it. No, no, but I'm going to jump out there. I'm going to jump out there. Since it's tough and difficult, I want to be the one that's it's challenging. Yeah. Um, Quan Martin, find his way. Okay. Mm. Find, right, his, find way. his way. I think, yeah. you know, to me, he's a guy that we really don't know where he's going to play at. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That, that That's how I, I see him. Mm-hmm. He can play everywhere. He's one of those Swiss Army Knights on the defense. Yep, yep. Yeah. But I want to, you know, from what I saw this preseason, saw him up front. I saw him in the, I saw him in the box area. I saw him, you know, play a little bit corner. Yeah. Uh, where is he going to play for us? Yeah. Who, what package are we going to see him the most in? Find mm-hmm. his sure. way. I want to yeah. see week one is probably going to be the tell-all story of where we're going to play at, whether we see him more on special teams or if he even dress, who yeah. knows? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. He's a young guy that we're not even sure about what he's going to do this, you know, mm. you know, come week one. So find his way to see where we're going to see Quan Martin be the guy, be the special young rookie that he can be for us. I think that's really good. I mean, I, I don't know. Do you want to add something to that, Fred? Like, oh, that's, oh, that's oh little... is it my turn? Yeah, yeah it's all, all right, it's... All right, here we go. I have two, I got one word in a phrase. <laughs> Tanner stole the phrase already. I I stole it. Did we talk about it? You You stole it already. First of all, the the word is versatility. Yeah. That's who he is. He's a, he's a, SUV. Whatever you need me to do, I'll be there. If you need me to tote the kids to church, I'll tote the kids to church. If you need me to go to Home Depot and get wood, I'll go to Home Depot and get wood. Now, the, the, the phrase I got for him, Swiss Army Knife. He brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you need me to do, I we know. If one DB go down, he'll be the first guy to come in. Like we know, uh, and Tanner said something too. What packages are they going to really put him out there and say, "Yeah, these these are the ones you need to worry about. Play these fast, move fast on these, and you'll get more and more play time." But versatility, and because of his versatility, it allows Coach, uh, Coach Del Rio, especially with him and Cam Curl, yeah, to do some rocking and rolling. I mean, Cam Curl and Forrest and yeah. Percy and like it, all those guys, like you know, they tell him. They just got a whole bunch of pieces back there that can do like kind of what you're saying, like a little bit of everything. And so that 
keeps the secret of the coverage. Yeah. That hides that like nobody's undressing us. And that's the best thing I think they got going. What about you? Yeah, so for me, I don't for me it's it's I always gotta develop it's a mystery, where, right? Where, yeah, like, where's like where's his home gonna be? Yeah. Cause like when I watch him, I'm like, man, he's explosive. He's fast. He's got good coverage instincts. He's mm-hmm. smart, yeah. but it just hasn't come together yet. And I think a big part of it is because like he's been, he's been so versatile. Yeah. Right. So maybe it's better that he's less versatile. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that he's more specific that yeah. he finds that he's role. He's a nomad a right now. Right. Yeah. yeah. And so I think like, that's what I want to see is like, where is his home? I would say yeah. Tana, like, I agree with you. Like, where is his home at? Yeah. Cause I want to see that athlete, that football player, that smart mind just be playing fast football. And then just to add to that, when you're young, you need to have something that you do that Very you know well. you're going to be consistent of yeah. because yeah. if you're just out there guessing, all over the man, place, it's going it's yeah. to be hard. It's going to be hard sledding for them. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Tough yeah. sledding for them. So I just want to – I hope to see that. They say, okay, this is where you're going to play. Yeah. And we don't need you to worry about nothing else. Play here. Yeah. Now that's going to get a guy who's la- he, he's more relaxed and now he's dialed in to what he has to yeah, do. Yeah, we need him to uh, respond to, like – like the thing about it is, you, the, the old saying: you think long, you think wrong. Yeah, and that's yeah. very that's very serious when you're playing cornerback. We don't have yeah. we are we react to these guys, like yeah. so it has to be second nature. Yeah, and if you got me doing six different things, what what's second nature to yeah, me? Right, Nothing's right. comfortable. Yeah, and I, I think the coaching staff kind of identified that. You know, the preseason he was playing yeah. exclusively nickel, so maybe he gets more reps there. And if he's going to find the field, I think it's going to be at the nickel spot. We're yeah. just so deep at safety right now yeah. with Percy and Jeremy. Good like, problems yeah. to have. I know, it's great. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I think find your home. Let's When he gets on the field, can he be comfortable and productive? All right, this is going to be interesting. I'm really curious to hear what you guys got to say about Chase Young. Mm. You, you got to start this one off. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hey, the first, the, first, the, corner, yeah, yeah. the first word when I hit Chase Young – the thing that brought him out and got him taken number two, potential. All right. Potential is kind of a bad word, though, Fred. No, 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 no. Because when you reach your potential, it's, it, it's a great word. Yeah. But people only say greatness is in your future when they see potential. Yeah. Now, can he finally reach that greatness? Yeah. Well, he got everything that it takes. He got the skill level. He got the size, the quickness, the speed, and yeah. now he has the motivation. Sure. Like, uh, it's a contract yeah, year for him. You like him. that motivation. So, I yeah. love that motivation. I think motiv- <laughs> motivated football motivation. players always give you their best football. Yeah. You put us in a contract year, best football. Oh, Tanner had 110 catches. Yeah. Contract year. <laughs> At the end of the year, we focus in another yeah. level. And I'm telling you, with this dude, the, the one thing about it is once you once you drafted that high and you looked at it as a you gotta realize they they said this guy was lifetime changing type of talent. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, he hasn't been that for the last two yeah. years. And nope. he feels it too. Yeah. All right? He feels it too. Everybody done forgot about Chase Young. They talk about the defense now. They talking about sweat. They talking about pain. Yeah. They talking about John Allen. Listen, we hear those things. We are all ex players. Yeah. He hear those things. So potential. Unleash his potential. Yeah. I, you know, I'm, I'm glad you asked me this about him because I feel like, not to say that I've been in his shoes, yeah. but I feel well, like, you've I, been in similar I feel roles. like I've been yeah. in a similar role when it comes to dealing with injuries, yeah. especially young in your career. Now, the one thing that he had different from mine is that he jumped out there his first year and was, you know, defensive player of the year, a yeah. uh, rookie, rookie defensive yep. player of the year, went to a Pro Bowl, I believe, that Yeah, year. he did. So my where I would use snapback. Snapback. Got to yep. snap back. I like that. Yep. Got to snap back. I mean – he got a cloud over him right now. Yeah. And I've been – the reason why I say I feel like I've been there because I, I think from my rookie year all the way into my, you know, deep into my second year, I had a cloud, man. I couldn't shake it. Yeah. It was like stuff was happening to me that I didn't – I didn't had no control of. Yeah. yeah. And I knew what type of player I could be. And the team looking at me like, man, is he this or is, is he that? Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 So – it was all of us about me just finding my lane, finding. What did you do for that? My routine, man. Just listen to the veterans. I just yeah. kept, and, and they didn't even know I was listening. They was talking. And I was just like, "What? It's got to be so hard. What are I, you doing? What are you doing? You know what I mean?" And I had to find a routine. Yeah. That was because in college you didn't have a routine. You no, know, go I play went football. To school, yeah. And I went to practice. Yeah. And I played video games and I yeah. hung out and I yeah. did things untraditional. You know. Yeah. So now I'm a professional trying to find a routine that's going to yeah. keep me. Healthy, not yeah. even just to say play football. football yeah, just stay I healthy. I came off, out, yep. off the, out the gate. I got injured before yeah. I even played in the game. So now it seems like that's my story. I'm injury prone. I'm yeah. injury prone. I'm, lis- I'm listening to the media. I'm reading it. I'm like, this yeah. is not me. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's, it's just, it's some, you know, an unlucky break for myself. So when I found my routine, when I found my, you know, my staff, to, you know, that I had to start spending money with to keep me healthy, yeah. I took off. You think, you think that's something that would benefit Chase? 
I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure if he has it's it already. Hard. Like, see, yeah. he already work out hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying that he's injury prone because that's the same thing how I feel. I'm not. I wasn't injury prone. Yeah. I just hadn't found my way yet. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like he have a, he have a cloud over him that he needs to shake. And he gonna have to shake and, it. And, with, and with, that's with why play. I use snap back. Yeah. You know, yeah. Have, yeah. You, have, have you ever had a, just having his opportunity to go out there and and, and have that clean slate of health that he can go out there and show the potential the potential he's talking about, but yeah. to not be just potential to be be his truth. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever been in a cloud like that, Fred, as a player? I did, and it had nothing to do with health. It had to do with mental health. Yeah, I was gonna say, like uh, is everyone but, everyone gets like there's different things, right? It's different yeah. things. And uh I had just got paid by Minnesota. Yeah. So I'm happy. Yeah. I thought I was. Yeah, yeah. Until I had to do the off the field and live in Minnesota, I, I realized I had made a mistake. <laughs> it probably should have stayed. And watch them. Yeah, but you know, we, we was messed up under the cap at the time, so yeah, I, yeah. I would have had to like sacrifice to stay. But I just, I and I and I love Minnesota as a place. Like it's a beautiful place to live, beautiful yeah. place. I was I was depressed and didn't know it. Yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. depressed with a smile on my face. Yeah. I was basically the Joker, yeah. where I was laughing around everywhere. But I was like. I, it wasn't that I was homesick. I was just like, you know what? All money ain't good money. Yeah. I was happy you're there. Sure. And it took me one and a half Brad's years. always greener. And, and I, I called Coach Gibbs on the phone. And like I told him, I want to come back. Yeah. Trade me back. I want to trade, go back. Yeah, yeah. And when I got back here, the cloud was gone. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was that simple. Yeah. So, I, like I said, I was a prisoner in my own mind. I think I was depressed and didn't know it. Yeah, I think that's, that, that's I mean, thanks for sharing, man. Because like, I had a similar experience. You know, sharing is caring. When I was in San Fran, like I was with Kyle Shanahan, I was near my family I thought I was, should be so happy but I had put so much pressure on myself to be playing well like which mm -hmm. I think maybe you know I'm not speaking for Chase but that's that'd be part of what's going on with him too yeah. so much pressure to play well that I couldn't play well yeah. you know what I'm saying like there was so much yeah. pressure you that paralyze I, yourself correct. mentally and then and we so, gotta understand we gotta also think too is and if Fred said, said, said something about this before and I've had a chance to experience that it's tough to play at home yeah Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Bro, that's a great point. So much because everyone's here. Yeah. Like when I was in Miami, and that's why I say I'm. I thank the Lord that I was able to, the being a young man in Miami. Yeah. I handled that well. Then I, I handled that better than I've handled anything. Yeah. In my career. Yeah. I was able to just say, you know what? I got to make sacrifice. My sacrifice is I'm not going out. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna go back to my neighborhood. Yep. I'm not finna do X, Y, Z. And I and if I do this, I was telling myself, if I do this, yeah. I should play well. Yeah. And when I got that game or two under my belt where I was playing well, consistently yeah. playing, making plays, yeah. I said, I'm okay, I found it. I'm not yeah. doing none of that other stuff. Right. I, I'm gonna do this and do this and do this. I'm gonna go play football. And so all that stuff that we're talking about, he's shown he can play here. Yeah. yeah. Listen, listen, without a doubt. Yeah. I just feel like it's Time for him to snap back, yeah. and it's time to kind of get some of that unwanted, you know, fog. You know, let, let it let it clear a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Because we know the player he could be, but it's all about him getting it's, out there. And, and, and it, I think us. it's also you brought up that putting that that self imposed pressure. Yeah, I think it's time for him to relax. Yeah. and yeah. just go play football and yeah. whatever happened happened. Yeah. I agree, and we we all wish the best for him, obviously, yeah, no and we hope that it's well. So potential snap back for me. I'm gonna go easy way. I'm gonna say health. I just want him to be healthy. Yeah, we you know? be healthy. Just be healthy so he can play football. That might be enough. Yeah, that's, yeah. All, that's all we need. Yeah, that's, 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 that's enough. Absolutely. All right. So then I'll, let's go last one here, and yeah. this is we'll keep this one tight because I think we all kind of know how we feel about this guy. Yeah. Is Eric Bieniemy? Mm. So I mean, there's a lot to say about the man. First thing coming to my mind is Colorado Buffalo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> After watching where Prime did. Because you know Coach B. Enemy used to tote the yeah. bean. Do you think he's having a party now? E.B. Yeah. he's having but a party. I'm sure <laughs> Coach hit some people up like, we back. Yeah. Because like, you got to realize when Coach B. Enemy was there, they was a top five team yeah. in Colorado. He was up for the Heisman when they, he was there. They, thank you, Rashawn Salam, uh, yeah. uh, Michael Westbrook, all these guys, Dion figures, they had so many dudes. Now, but when I think of Coach B. Enemy. He's, he's older than you, right, though? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's older most definitely yeah. older than us. But the thing is, when I think Coach B. Enemy, I think of ingenuity. Okay, like, I like that what word. What he brings yep. to the table, and he went, and I say ingenuity over game planning because he adapts. Yeah, and that takes great coaching because some coaches like is my way or the highway. You sure. know how some offensive coaches can yeah, be. Yeah. Run it my way, not him. He lets the game come to him. Mm. Okay, I thought they were gonna play us cover four. They ain't playing us cover four. Yeah. They manning us up. No, we finna go to the mesh technique. We finna we finna yeah, attack yeah. The, the field horizontally, not vertically. I think that's going to be the golden goose of what he brings to the table. What you got? I love that. I think what I'm going to say kind of goes with what you're saying. Yeah. Show us the way. Yeah, okay. Like that. Like that a lot, he, actually. He been there. 
Yeah. He 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 he's played. He's been in the big game. Yep. He's Super coached Bowl. in the big After game. After Super Bowl. He's won the big yeah. game. Yeah. He's also lost one of them. Yeah. But he knows what it takes to get there. Yeah. He's here now. He's showing these guys, hey, how I'm to gonna, practice. I'm gonna be up, yo, you know what? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. this is what it's gonna take to get you to realize what's at stake. Mm -hmm. And I've been on teams like that. I haven't went to the big dance. College I have. You yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Pros, I I never I never saw it. Yep. But I knew those years that were special for us, and I remember the staff we had around us. I remember how dialed in we were, you know, when it came to the stuff that we put on the board in the classroom, and then how we were on the, you know, on the practice field. Yep. So, what he brings is the way he yep. showing these guys what it's going to take for us to get there, and that's what I want to see from him. I want to mm -hmm. see him show these guys throughout the week, mm -hmm. so we can see that display on the field on Sundays. Yeah. You know, what I mean the way. The formula we need to go out there and play in the postseason to get ourselves a chance to play in the big dance. Yeah, for me, it's uh, it's kind of aligned with what, what what you guys are both saying. I think he's a very smart offensive mind. I think he's very innovative. I think he's very adaptable. I think he's you know he's been there. He's done it. For me, it's the standard. Yeah. Like yeah. you see it at practice. Like the standard is is his standard, and yeah. his standard is it's perfection. Different. Yeah. Everything is and different. I, and I think it's it's a, it's affected the entire team. Mm -hmm. Like when you watch practice, when you watch the preseason, you say, man, this is a team that that knows who they are, mm -hmm. right? And knows what the standard is, and they're doing everything they can to get there. And I and I think that is extremely valuable. You know, having you know coached at high school, yeah. like whatever, like that standard is so so important. Yeah. All right, so that's going to do it for word association. All right, look, say this is it. Games coming up this week. Yeah. Last minute details that a team's putting in, kind of like what is like from the end of cut from cuts yeah. to now. Yeah. Like what's going on with this, well, with this team? Well, you knew the week of the last preseason game, we was already getting our game plan ready for the next. Yeah. Next I was going to say so. Due to the fact that it's different from how when we played, you know, you was you was playing that fourth preseason game yeah. and going straight into the regular yeah. season. They got a week off now. Yeah. So they've had two weeks to put in a game plan. Yeah. So this week yeah. is basically just let's perfect what we're finna run. Sure. Yeah. Let's that, let's perfect this thing. We're gonna start off with the first day of practice. We're gonna we, we should be we should be running right now. We shouldn't have to be saying that we installing right now. Yeah. We done we done did our installing. Yeah. We done had a weekend off. Let's perfect this thing because come Thursday. Everything is all there. We're going to go through our short yardage yeah. and however we do things on Thursday. I forgot. Thursday was like third down back when I was yeah. playing. Yeah, so third yeah, down it's a little period. different now. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a little different now. So by Thursday, when we putting that third down package in, and it's, it's stuff that you didn't – you've already seen. It's right. nothing new to you. But for these guys who are going to be playing different roles now because it's regular season, so it's now it's going to be like you're not getting no rest in practice. If you're not yeah. playing, you're going to be on a scout team. You know what I mean? That's what yeah. I look at this week as being. It's just one of those weeks that we're going to, you know, perfect, perfect the stuff that we, we already put in, and let's go see who who ready to go win. Yeah. I think it's uh after the 53 is done, you find out who your brother's going to be on this mission, this voyage we're about to go on. I think I it, like it goes – mission and voyage. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice, yeah, it, yeah, it goes from – Jimmy and Joes, because yeah. that's what the the preseason figured out. Who's going to be the Jimmy and the Joes? Yeah. To X's and O's. Yeah. All right. So now it's all about how can it's the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, how can I put them in the best situation to win? Yeah. Over and over again. So with the players and the coaches, this is the first time we are on the same level. Yeah. Because right? everything else has just been installed. You, yeah. you force feeding me stuff, force feed me. But guess what? We know if we got 300 plays in the play, but we're not taking 300 plays into the yeah, game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We attacking this team because this is the DNA of this team. This is what they do well. This is what we're going to take away. Sure. So now you're about to challenge the mental aptitude of your whole entire team. Yeah. How much can you consume? How much can you re uh, dispute? Yeah. Who are you? We're about to find out. And you know like we know. Yeah. If you want to have a good year, you got to start out fast. Sure. Yeah. You got to start out fast as a player. Yeah. Stat-wise, yeah. everything you want to start out fast. And I think that's where we're at. So I'm going X's and O's right now. Yeah, I think, you know, I think Tanny laid it out really nice. Like, cause like the last week of training or last week of training camp, right before the cut, they're probably doing some stuff, getting ready for yep. Arizona. The cool thing about this schedule is they had some time off, right? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, like get that body right. Yep. Cause I remember when I was playing, like my, you come in hurt. my body wasn't one, you, right. You hurt all, you, you, you hurt from training camp. <laughs> yeah, until like yeah. week six, like yeah. five or six, you know, like I didn't feel right. Yep. So it's nice to get some time off. Also, the thing about this extended buy, I'm always curious about is like, do you put too much in? Because you've had the whole off season to look at this and say, yeah. and so that's the thing I always kind of keep an eye on. It's like, as a coach, can you say like, is there too much in? Do we have enough? Those yeah. are the questions that I think are really, yeah, yeah. really you, interesting. You like Jay Rio is over there because you got to realize what he been handed. All right, they cut Coach McCord, the best quarterback who do all they <laughs> plays. They bringing in a quarterback that been there like a week. 
Uh, we gonna fire him up. Yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah. Throw away everything we thought we were gonna do. <laughs> blitz, 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 yeah. blitz. Yeah. Simple as that. Absolutely. All right. Well, so uh, yeah. So that's kind of the last finishing touches going into week one. So make sure you turn into the preview pod to make sure you check out our preview of the Arizona game. All right. Now, guys, someone has proposed that yeah. we do a fantasy football league. Yes. I'm in. Are I'm you in? in? I am I'm in. I've been waiting. Are have you been waiting? Are you in? Because you got a lot on your plate. I do have a lot on my plate. I don't know that much about fantasy football, but. Me either. I'm not a big fantasy guru. It's simple. But I, but I played in a few <laughs> of them, so they I put know. all the players in the pot, yeah. and you get to pick any player, yeah. and whatever they stats is, that that's week, what we get. It, it'll tell you what yeah. the number you get. So no, you might get 10 game. points from this player, 10 points for this one. But you're smart enough to know, you know what? Uh, so and so is playing the Ravens defense oh, this week. I see. I'm, I'm going to sub him because this guy's playing. Against the Cardinals. Well, right? so play everybody from watching the Commanders first week. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't realize you guys were so fired up about it. Yeah. So I, I guess I'm in on it. I'll have Jason Johnson, oh, man, our producer, man. be my GM and he'll help me and out. And you got to come up with a good name. Oh See, my I use god. The same name. Yeah. What's, what's your, what the is your name? The Smooth Lumber Company. <laughs> Why? Yeah, because that's what my guys finna lay that lumber. Huh? <laughs> You so got a name to, to I don't. I'm not, I, don't believe this guy either. No, he, I, I, I'm gonna go back and find his fantasy no, no, records. No. <laughs> we should bring I, it in. In, in this smooth slumber comedy, it's so funny because when I went over oh there where they was God. doing the fantasy thing at FedEx yeah. Field, somebody was like, "I've been using the lumber company ever since I heard you on the radio talk oh, about smooth slumber oh company." Oh my and that's God. his name, no. Ted's Lumber Company. Oh All right. Well, God. so I guess we'll reveal our teams and our names. I don't know when we're gonna do this, but we'll reveal at some point. All right. All right. And uh, yeah. I think that's going to do it for the show today, guys. Hey, great pod. Appreciate you. Enjoyed it with y'all guys. <laughs> <laughs>